Before we start this episode of The Clash of Smash, I want to give a small shout out to one of the members of the Discord server, Trey Brown, and his YouTube channel. He's recently started doing YouTube and needs some support to continue forward with his dreams. He's a really excellent singer, and I highly recommend you check out his channel after this episode is over. That being said, enjoy the episode. Hey everyone, it's me, Lila. Welcome back to Clash of Smash Episode 2. I'm excited to see where this will go, and I bet you are too. So without further ado, let's get right into it! Hello everyone! Welcome to the second episode of The Clash of Smash. Here we are in Round 2 with my co-hosts Lila and Klutz. Hello. Hi. L <laughs> why, why <are> we... ah. <laughs> so the first match that we had for these two couple right here it was pretty laggy as fuck but that's besides the point we're gonna do a rematch actually but if you want to see the other uh i'll make that unlisted in the description below but other than that jill and wave you can start your rematch starting off with that yoshi and king ddd but can I just say that unlisted video was a great PowerPoint presentation. I really <laughs> it was happy. very it was very informative. Yeah. Going into WarioWare Inc. It's probably being a right there. Yeah. But anyways, let's see how this goes. Wave getting some a little bit of damage on Joel. With that Yoshi. Not dying right off the bat again. <laughs> let's hope he doesn't die right off the bat. Oh. We're up to a powerful start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Missing the Gordo, but doing two up smashes. Yeah, one down air, down one up air, but failing. Lila, how do you think about this matchup right now? I mean, I think like both are at an advantage, you know. They, they yeah. have their advantages and disadvantages. Like, mm -hmm. ooh, forward smashing into KO. Yo, she it's has like sweet. a lot of uh, attack. Uh, um, attack ways up. Oh, he has a lot of potential of attacking Joe. I think Joe's a heavyweight and Yoshi's very, very fast. He does like most of his attacks like really, really fast and they come out fast too, like so. All the fast. <laughs> yeah, All basically. It's not, it's not it's, even though his resume is not obviously Sonic fast, but it's hey. Ooh, I was smashing Ooh, nice very nice read. Two and two, but Joel still has more percent than Yoshi. A little more now. Which puts way which pit which puts Wave actually in the lead. For now. Anything can now. change. You see if King DDD's forward. You see, that's the thing King DDD suffers when it comes to using his smash attack. His forward smash is very slow, but if you can be able to land your attack, you can do some collateral damage on that big nose freak. Or oh, so they say. <laughs> what, are you about, what are you talking about? I don't know. Talking about, talking about um, a gay friend. You're, you're probably talking about a, a girl who is in this VC right now. <laughs> but let's get back at the match at hand. You're all almost failing to recover. Uh oh. Seems Wait, he's trying to do his best to get him off stage. Uh oh. A nice aerial attack? Is he gonna finish him off? No, he's not gonna finish him off. They still have two stocks. One hit could kind of blow them off away the stage. One smash attack each and they were basically off the game. Not off the game, just off a of stock. Wave trying yeah. to be a little bit disrespectful. I see that. Cause Yoshi's forward there. That's actually scary. If you fight against Yoshi's, you would know that Yoshi's forward air is a, not a joke. You wanna yes. be very careful. Ooh! <gasps> Ooh, the sour spot. I know, right? He did spot dodge, but he didn't send him flying like a kraken. Oh! Oh, Ooh. that would have been suicidal if he didn't. That would have been, right yeah, that been yeah, a, su a suicide mission. Who do you think is going to win this, Klutz? It's pretty even matched, but I gotta say, once they're both one smash attack away, but I don't really know. Uh -oh. It seems like Wavy's having a game too, I think. Woo! Killing with that back air! One and two. Joe gotta really step up his game if you wanna continue to stay in the tournament. <laughs> One hammer down for the side attack. He tries to do it again, but no, he's using his head. <laughs> Literally. 
<laughs> what a <laughs> being insightful about your head, but not being really respectful. <laughs> See, in these situations, it's all about the last man standing, so he'll use whatever tactic he needs to use, like his girls. See, just uh, like that. Wow. <laughs> one on one, Wave still might have a chance of taking this out and going Where to the next round. Wave is still in the lead with that pure zero, but getting it at 50.1. All Yoshi needs to do is try to get two smash attacks and he'll be able to get him off the stage and this will be Wave's uh, winning point. Yeah. Joel has to be really, really careful because the tide can turn against him, but he can turn Ooh, against Ooh, getting hit with Joel. that hammer and a Gordo. I mean, Wave. <laughs> <laughs> my one smash attack. Ooh. Ooh. That could have ended it. Yeah, my heart almost sank for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I still remember oh. that time I got an adrenaline this rush. Is very for Wave. Oh! Up smashing oh. KO. That is a nice up smash attack from Wave, and with that, Wave goes to the next round. Congrats! Looks like tax. Looks like top tax fraud boy is. Congratulations, is Wave! That beautiful arabesque. All right. I just finished eating a cookie. Great snack, cause I to I totally got a cookie. Totally. <laughs> no, totally. you'll be fine. Totally. Maybe get a cookie. Okay. Alrighty, now to our next participants, Inky and Matt. Are you both ready? Lila no. Klutz, are you ready? No. Yeah. I'm always ready. All right, y'all can start your match. Ready? Ooh, oh near near. <laughs> it's Nair Boy versus Pika Boy. Alrighty, so like, I wonder how this is gonna go, because Pikachu can also be a pain, but Ike and his aerial attacks are going to be a pain as well. And the battle's oh. off! <laughs> who do you think who do you think is gonna win? Uh, if Inky just continuously attacks Pikachu in the air, then this could be in Inky's favor, but if not, then Pikachu might have the upper hand. I would like to be biased and just say Matt will win, but eh. What do you think, Lila? Who do you think is gonna win? Well, I don't think I, I wouldn't be. I'm, I'm not gonna be biased because I don't know any of these people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna be biased. So I'm, I'm but just really looking at the matchup, how do you think it might go? Yeah. I mean, I think uh, Inky has an advantage with the, the big ash stick sword while Pikachu. <laughs> That's his light thing. Oh, Well, Pika, well, well, Ike has an advantage of big ass thick sword, but getting that SD, failing the side, be recovered. Mm -hmm. So far, Inky, so far he's holding himself down on the ground, trying to see if he can get the yellow Pikachu with a green headband. Oh, that doesn't, that's, that doesn't oh. damage himself Ooh, nice. every time he does an electric attack. Mm -hmm. Lila, you fought Pikachus before, so you should know how Pikachus work. Okay. Ooh, getting that forward air to KO. Nice. This is a very entertaining match. <laughs> yes, it, <laughs> it is. is. Especially, especially when big ass thick sword, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's Cloud, but that's besides the point. He's not in this battle. It's between Ike and Pikachu. <laughs> Calm down, Flick. I know you love Cloud, but there's not even your head, so just tell me. <sighs> Nerd. So Nerd. many nairs from Inky doing a good job trying to space out Pikachu. Doing a really good job. They both have 50%. I can hear their hearts racing from here in the battlefield, especially for Inky, because he's at a higher percentage. One, trying his one, one front smash. One front smash is is basically an undoing. Yeah, the same with King DDD I said for um, Ike, just one forward smash, it's slow, but once it lands, you gotta be careful. Not to mention, yeah. Ike, his attack power and his sword, it, he might move slow, but you still gotta be careful. Yeah. It's when he does it unpredictably that you have to be on your toes. The same with Pikachu, Ooh, as he just Pikachu fails to recover. Yeah, fails to recover with that. Mm -hmm. Too bad it doesn't go three zaps instead of two. One more stock on Matt. Can Inky manage to go to the next round or will there be a reversal? Only one way to find out here in the final uh, plaza. 
Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Insert JoJo music here. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh! Da -da 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 -da. oh! Now that's what I call Kinetison bills being paid. Ooh. <laughs> 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 getting that, getting that down B. Hey yo. Causing thunder to Inky. I think his reign of thunder will probably be stop if Matt manages to land another attack of a smash attack that's electrifying. Ooh, that's coming, Inky. 69, 77.6, 34 How do you oh, think you this might go, Lila? That this one sucks. This is looking really well for Inky. All he needs is uh, like another smash. That's a little bit hard because he's gonna win this. Peach, you needs to Matt, do a lot Matt of damage. Matt just trying to space him. Matt trying to space him up with his beat with his neutral bees. Mm -hmm. Pikachu needs to do a lot of damage and to try to juggle more combos into him. If not, so, good be so Are we doing? This. So are we doing stationary Olympic Games here, or? <laughs> Does they look like they're standing still all the time? It's stationary. It's stationary hurdle jumping, guys. <laughs> this. I can tell. These two opponents might be scared, but nothing's gonna stop one of them from reaching to the next round. The question is who's going to be? Place your bets now. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm actually kind of nervous because I'm not speaking right now. This could I, know. <laughs> I don't even know who's gonna win. I'm actually a little scared. Oh, a parry! Parrying. When you see someone parry, that's a scary tact that's a scary movement right Ooh, there that and that's it <laughs> wow looks like big ass sword big ass thick sword boy <laughs> won the game <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh nice job inky and congratulations on advancing to round three i can't do fake smiles it's it's easy don't worry my smile looks like i'm frowning with my oh. teeth out with my teeth so you look like a zombie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, don't start it yet. Um, hit the record button. Alrighty. Oh, y'all both in the ring. Alright, hold on. Let me just listen to something. Lila, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite color? Red or black? Red all the way. Same. It's a good. Okay, okay. My here's my here's the, my here's the most important question. Why why is your profile picture blue? Mm. I don't know. You told me. As we have done doing our whatever the hell we were doing, it's time for Sonic and Dynamo's battle to now commence. Ready? Go! Ready? Oh. Whoa! Oh. The start, I was like, uh. Pure, 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 purification, purification woman versus fat crocodile. Let's see. Give that crocodile the holy water that he deserves. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, 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 oh. give that green-haired woman the best hair dye. You can <laughs> oh my God, red. Lila. So you mean, so you mean red? Oh damn. Okay, Dynamo having a good lead on. Ooh, nice Dang, that reflect. Ooh, this Who do you think's gonna win? I don't know. Dynamo's Dynamo putting up a lot of. Yeah, yeah, he's putting up yeah. a lot of pressure on getting, Sonic. Yeah, really getting all, really getting those mini combos in. Just trying to hit him as much as possible. But I've heard Lila, back, but I heard Lila, ooh, getting that KO. But I heard Lila backstage that um, Sonic, Sonic is gonna win. Mm. I didn't see that. <laughs> Maybe you didn't. Maybe you did. Sonic's getting all heavy, out for this. Getting a heavy light, returning back to Crown. Getting getting hit by that blunderbust, warping oh. to fail to recover. Ooh, this might look bad for Sonic. Let's see, he has yet to get a single stock off of Dynamo yet. This might be a if, Dyn if, if Sonic dies again, failing to recover, or just getting hit by Dynamo. This might be our second three stock for this tournament. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. Getting sucked in by the blunderbust, getting launched again. Uh oh, yeah. King K. Rule is scary as it is. Oh, that was a nice air to up air, um, up attack, and a nice explosive, explosive light. Flame hey, yoing! To a right KO, and that's a heavyweight. Imagine if that was a small Jigglypuff. Imagine how powerful that yeah, would have been. Yeah, that would KO. That would that would KO. Mm -hmm. You you wouldn't even you wouldn't even see her flying off the screen. We just you would you would just see the the laser. You would just see the light 
of the KO part. You just, you just, you don't even see her. Yeah, that's a, that's a fact. And getting buried, getting that up tilt. But it not but killing not him killing. though. Oh, this could be. Oh, getting up. Sonic's Palutena is looking in some deep trouble right Wonder now. Bus. Yeah. This one could be game. Another! Yeah. Ooh, nice. And that one was an actual game. That's... I Sonic didn't see much of a chance, unfortunately. If but congrats, he, Dynamo. He... Yeah. Congrats to both. They yes, both indeed. Alright. We have a change. Klutz will no longer be commentating for now. We have our other co-host, Drixie. I don't know why his... His face is a, a female. Don't ever call me that ever again. But Drixie. Drixie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye. Klutz could take my spot now. No, no, don't leave. <laughs> All right. Now in the second round, we have Husky versus uh, how do I call this? Um, Mako Best Girl, aka Rap God Haru. Does that look like Mako? I, I Does that look like Mako to you? I'm just reading off the Discord name. I'm sorry, I'm mad. It's like Makoto or something. Makoto. Or Makoto or something. I don't know. Oh my god. Mako. I, I'm sorry. I'm bad with it's... names. Rap God Harley. Alrighty. We got Rap God. Alright. Anyways, let's go. You can start the battle. Ooh, a Pokemon trainer. With She's Zelda. using my Pokemon Trainer skin. That's a boy. No, Pokemon Trainer, the female one. Oh. I mean, that, the that's my skin of her Pokemon Trainer. That's How do you not. feel? <laughs> How do you feel seeing this, Drix? Oh, Let's see, okay. On it at the beginning. I don't know if that was a good idea. Right now. As the match starts, it seems that Rap God has gotten Husky to 66 and counting upwards to almost 90.3 damage or percent. That Zelda looked like she could be in, sick, in a sicky situation if not played correctly. Oh, he got some hit on uh, Rap God. I don't know how this matchup is going to go for Ivysaur and Zelda because Damn. the last time. Yeah, I felt that too. The last time I've ever seen this matchup was in Brawl. How do you think the matchup is going to change this time, Lila? Uh, I actually t honestly don't think it's going to change. I mean, if this Rap God person keeps spamming, keeps the lead and like keeping Zelda up in the air, that's a win, you know what I'm That is true. What about you, Drix? How do you think this battle would go as he continuously to do up aerial attacks? <laughs> As long as Rap God is mixing up with, with his Razor Leaves, trying to trying to keep away Husky um, from approaching and, make, and turning it into a combo. Um, so far, he's doing good of what he's what he's using for Ivysaur's tooling is tooling his Razor Leaves well. Mm -hmm. Like Razor Leaf on Ivysaur, it is really really dangerous. All you gotta do is just basically just continuously throw them and space your opponent out, and that way you can be able to go for some sweet combos. Oh, wondering what Charizard's gonna do right now for Husky. And uh, mm -hmm. knew it. The Flare Boots connect. He switches yeah. to Squirtle. Uh huh. Even though damage the recoil on the poor Pokemon. You know what I think of him when I see Squirtle? What do you think of? Why looks like Eevee. No, oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back continuing into the match, three stocks now to two for Rap God, switching over by to Charizard. Husky has 50 damage in one stock and still counting higher and higher. This could be Rap God's game if he's not if he's not careful. Oh, that's not an SD. He still manages to come back onto the stage perfectly. Husky has to be really really careful when it comes to doing this type of stuff. Ooh, surprisingly that didn't kill. This could be in Rap God's favor, but it most likely will be. Husky mm -hmm. has to be extremely careful what he do, what he does. Now Rap God switches to like, oh, now he switches to me. Switches to Ivysaur. A forward uh, smash. That's, that's a big, big rip. Dang, that match was pretty over. Not that fast, but 
it was it wasn't even a chance for Husky, unfortunately. But GG to Rap God and Vanchin to the next uh the next round. English. Turning on recording and Hey guys, welcome back to the next round of the ASMR. Um, I'm your host. That is not ASMR. No, no, you have to whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what, Lila? You just say the next round. <laughs> you say it. I already recorded, so saying? go ahead. Alright, just say who you're about to fight. Oh, okay, so we have Javi and Bucketeer. Yeah, so let's see who wins. Sounds so unsure, but you guys can start your battle. <laughs> Rob versus Roy, the two R's. Rob and Roy, they have... Robin. Red Robins! <gasps> Yum! Wait, it's not Robin, it's just Red Roy. No, but Roy has red hair. That is true, and the battle begins already yet. Ooh, 38. Yeah. Dang, Javi! You about to screw up Bucket and Machineries, but Bucket, I think he might say something else though. But that was a really good beginning part on Javier. Lord knows what he can do now. In the matchup, how I see this going, Roy has not really good recovery like Bucket does with Rob. He has a really excellent recovery. You know, in my opinion, I feel like Roy is a bad matchup against Rob because he he doesn't know how to approach any projectile characters as well since he has low ranged power. Mm -hmm. So what basically what Javi has to rely on is his boots, speed, and force, and he has to do it fast enough so that Bucket won't react. But either way, this could go... It is a bad matchup, but it can go in Javi's favor depending on how he plays his cards. Like so! A nice dancing blade on Roy's part. Really, really good. Lila, how you holding up? Oh, I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm just saying, what do you think about this? I mean, since Roy has a kind of... bad... Okay. Since Roy's recovery isn't as graceful, I mean, all Rob has to do is keep him off the stage, and yeah, he has an advantage to that. Yeah, that's true. Edge guarding is gonna be a key thing for Bucket at this point. And it's one to two. Looks like Bucket might have the upper hand in winning to the next round. Mm -hmm. But I say that all the time. We don't know what's gonna happen. On Battlefield, too. Look how beautiful the stage is. Mm -hmm. Other than that. Oh, a parry! That's that's pretty good. Oh, he catches the gyro, throws it out, but misses Rob. So far, so good. He tries to counter, but he misses his opportunity to counter. But he gets a forward smash, sending Bucket off one stock left. Jakes, how you, who do you think is going to win since it's the last stock? As long as Javi knows what he's doing, trying to trying to like keep the keep knowing what he's doing. Trying to space out and thinking, and I'm pretty sure he has a chance to take this victory. But for now, I think, uh, for now, I think Bucket needs to do what he's doing and keeping him away from him to space out, especially. Mm -hmm. No media smashes yet. Oh, but a forward smash though. Uh oh, that will look dicey. Oh, that back air though, that was pretty close. I didn't know it was going to attack first. That was good though. That was good. I'm happy. <laughs> good job, Bucket, on the next round. I'm recording. Start! No, 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 no! <laughs> Alright, Drix, yeah. go ahead. I'm recording now. Alright, next round we have Negrito versus Kirtley in round twos. So, go feel free to start if you want, guys. There we go. So Negrito already says that he's trembling in his boots. But, seeing how this would go, probably Kirtley might win. I don't want to sound biased, but Negrito can probably turn it around. Here, a Mario Kart circuit, I believe that's what this stage is called. Please don't kill me. Ooh, you're already getting some beautiful combos up in the beginning of the round. I can tell Negrito's a little scared. Oh! Oh! That elbow. The zero to death on the first stop. The mm -hmm. I mean, there's still... It's still early. We haven't passed the first minute mark yet, so... Yeah. 
A little, little lag, but it's okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I just ran out what I was about to say. Alrighty, anyways. Drix, what do you think of this matchup? If you're still alive. Because <laughs> right now... I'll commentate for him. Alright, go ahead, Lila. <laughs> matchup is gonna go really lovely today. Uh, so we're uh, after the Belgian. Uh, oh, yes, just keep inkling in the air. Probably push the get down here on him. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then what do you think this matchup's gonna be, Lila? Thank you, Drix. Well, I think... Well, well you see, I think... I think that we have the matchup because, um, he's up two steps ahead. <laughs> Smart ass. I don't sound like Kermit on steroids. Guys, the match! We have to commentate on the match! Currently he's at almost 200% trying to see if he can still stay alive, but landing a knee on the Greedo, his inkling so far is doing w Oh! Oh my god. That was painful to watch, ladies and gentlemen. But you did try in the Greedo, and that's what matters. GG's to both of you, and congrats to Kurt Lee on advancing to round 3! Alright, so guys, do not start the- <laughs> I already begin just saying, guys, do not start the- and then I just already see the characters pop out. Oh, Lila, no! I'm ready to fight, guys! <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Sound like a fucking anime girl. That's what you made me sound like. I never knew Kermit was an anime character. <laughs> Whatever. You guys ready? Guys? Lila? Gay. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, seems like everyone's ready. I'm not sure about Lila, she's just silent right now. But, as of now, we are at our final match of round 2 with Sendo versus Carson aka Hulk Hogan. So you guys may now start your battle. A me fighter. Oh, oh. You don't see a bunch of me's in this tournament at all, do you now? <laughs> I do. I don't. So <laughs> oh, that me though. Oh, it's a little laggy. Uh oh. Oh. God. Bobby might have a PowerPoint presentation um... point too. Oh dear. Uh, what a beautiful me. <laughs> That's a good way to start the battle, just beginning the lag. <laughs> but yeah, seeing how this me is... That looks like a cat. <laughs> uh oh. Bowser is putting a lot of pressure against Carson right now. I think him being a heavyweight gives him the advantage of getting a super early yeah. oh, and the taunt though. And the taunt though. Let's see how this goes. He might regret it though later on. Drix, do you ever f see any me's? How much faith do you believe that Carson probably might take this in his bag? I feel like the me's in this game feel so much better than the ones in Smash 4. So I feel like he could have a bit of potential if he knows what he's doing. That is true. So, so far, he's 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 kind of taking a beating um, from Sendo's Bowser. So he has to be careful on on if he's gonna hit or not. And that almost connected. Yeah, that it. What expectations do you want to see from this me throughout this battle? Patience and damage. Mm, that's true. Like anything specific in terms of his uh damage, like because like we don't see his these. Side v. One of his custom side V's is doing quite work of damage. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's the same as Bowser. Like, they both have similar side Bs. They can drag... They can catch their opponents and drag them off the stage. If need be, So what but... you're... So what you're saying is they have both... They both have command grabs. Mm-hmm. Seeing how Hulk Hogan, a.k.a. Carson, is holding up right now, trying to activate counter, making sure that if Bowser tries to retaliate, he can be able to be ready for his attack. But Lila, do you also agree with this? Do you think Mies have been better in this game than they were in Smash 4? 
I mean, I can't really say anything because I never really played the Miis, you know what I mean? But I have a feeling that they did get buffed a little in They have. That's true. But seeing how they are now- Oh, super tough boy. The thing with Bowser is that once he doesn't flinch when it comes to light attacks, leaving him to open more opportunities to try and counter him. Seeing how the battle is going so far, one stock on Carson and two for Sendu. This can be either way, either one's game. Oh, but a fourth smash, but he gets the block. He has blocked it all, actually. I'm still waiting to see who gets the first hit that actually connects, because I'm seeing a bunch of spot dodging. Not much actions going on here. Who do you think mm -hmm. is going to land the first hit? Oh, guess that answers my question. <laughs> well, it's one to one, though. If uh, if Holt uh keeps up his fast pace, and then I think he'll have an advantage of winning the match. But you know, since Bowser is a little heavyweight, and he can easily like catch up. up on him. Mm -hmm. But just know that the Mii Fighters forward smash can actually hit hard just like heavyweights. Oh, a counter! If he was, if Senda was to hold that bit longer, he would have actually managed to finish the job, but no. And that finished it! Just like that, Sendu's Bowser advances to round dress. That was AKA the quarterfinal. Mm-hmm. The quarterfinals. Congrats, Sendu. And that was nice though from both of them, I should say. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with our two last contenders or contestants, Johnny TM and Blitz TM. You may now start your battle. I know it's trademark. That's your cue to go. There you go. <laughs> I thought we were gonna pull a Jeffrey and Inky at the beginning. <laughs> Cause like at the first round we did between those two, they started like forever, but it's okay. We have a sword fighter. Those glasses are big. The battle starts off with Johnny pulling off speed. Oh, I'm about to say, that's already a stock at the beginning? That's crazy. How do you think this matchup is gonna go, Lila? Cause we haven't seen the Meef Swordsman yet. I do think the Mii Swordsman has a slight advantage from the speed it has, but also the same with Shulk because he can run pretty fast, but also throw on some pretty nasty combos with his bust and smash skills and all that mm -hmm. jazz. Yeah, that is true. Drix, how do you feel about that matchup? How do you feel about this matchup, I should say? Um, from what I've could see, um, right now I feel like Blitz, um, Blitz is doing. Uh, very good job of being patient of his attacks. He's just throwing out basic jabs to mile up some decent percent. Um, so far, he's recovering very well on, back on stage. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Continue what you were saying. And I feel like his neutral is doing um, is doing perfect so far. As long as he can know what he's doing. That is true. Using his Sonic Win, I say. I know it's a tornado, I don't think I what it's called, but I call it Sonic Win. There's some chance that Blitz can actually do really well in this match as well. But I don't know. If Johnny can pull off his Monado arts at the perfect time, he will be an indestructible force. Would you guys agree? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this Nintendo Land music. Same. This was actually a part of the first round, like, two times. This is the third time it's appearing in this series. <laughs> On a side note now, we have Johnny pulling off speed, trying to give Blitz the work the workout that he deserves on his knee swordsman, but as we see these two trademark players are going at it, having a nice sword sword duel. Sword on sword sword on sword You know what I mean. Anyways, Johnny pulls out to smash mode Seeing if he can try to get one attack off of him, because they say Smash is his strongest um, Malalo art that can launch his opponents away. He has I jump... agree, I'm going to... Keep uh, going. No, I said he has Jump Shield, Buster... Oh, speaking of Shield, 
uh, speed and smash. But were you going to say, Lila? Yeah, I said I was going to agree with you, and Blitz has, is doing a really good job with the spacing. He's just, you know, like what Drake said earlier. Smash, smash is perfectly even right now. As, yeah. Oh yeah, surprisingly that didn't kill. They both have counters. Johnny hasn't used his counter yet, but he doesn't want to be too predictable when you use counter because your opponents can lead you and they can probably send your ass flying. And speak of the devil, Blitz got one. Johnny gets left. his perfect punish taking that last taking Blitz's second stop. Mm -hmm. As Johnny then pulls off a shield, Shulk still is managing to oh Oh, that would've been a fatal way to go down. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this goes. Using side special, Blitz is relying a lot on that side special, trying to see if it can land. It does do a lot of damage, but it leaves you pretty vulnerable after effects. All it just takes is just... If one of them counters at a perfect time, it'll probably be good, but we don't know what will happen. Oh! Can this be a stock off of Johnny? If so, it'll be one to one. Seeing how this goes, Blitz seems to be doing a really good job trying to stay alive and getting one, one, uh, one KO on Jonathan. Who do you think is gonna win this one? I think pretty even right now. Blitz continues with his spacing and jabs every once in a while, but he has a really good advantage. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Drix? Who do you think might win? I almost said oh, that and he <laughs> <laughs> I think Shell can probably clutch it out. I feel as if something really clutchy is going to happen at this moment. But, but we don't know just yet. Oh, the dodges are going off. They're going off. Grabs are popping off everywhere. Swords are flying. Oh, nice counter! I actually felt you scared. Only get, you only get the sour spot on that four smash. Oh, and that takes it. Yeah, the tip of Shulk manages to go to the next round. Nice job, Johnny. Round three, you go. Nice, impressive gameplay from both Shulk and the Me Sword Spider. You don't see those every day. You really don't. Did you like what you see? Do you want more of this? So do we. Commentating these matches in round 2 are fun, and I hope you guys at home enjoyed it too. Like the video, share, and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to the quarterfinals, and after the quarterfinals we'll be advancing to the semifinals. Until next time, stay fresh everyone.